One of my subscribers sends me this note. Can you please make an open telemetry video and .NET Core, but without Docker? And I'm thinking to myself, you should do what your subscribers want, right? Especially since I have one subscriber. If you're watching this video and they watch this video, then I've got like two views on this video. Honestly, I think I'm nailing this YouTube thing. Let me show you how you can do this in Windows. If you're considering doing this in Windows though, consider also try it in Docker because the industry is really moving to containerization. So if you're really looking to develop your skills in a way that could be used across the industry. Getting familiar with Docker and containerization in general is going to be crucial for you to be utilized. But to do it in Windows, this is how you can do it. I've got just the Visual Studio open. You'll notice I'm not connected to my uh, remote WSL Ubuntu window. And so we can just go ahead and do a Control Shift P and start a new project and we'll just make this a uh, .NET Core Web API and we can call this Windows Open Telemetry Demo. And we'll go ahead and put it in the default directory. So I created my project, so let's go ahead and add some packages to it. And so to do that, we'll just do .NET, add the project, uh, which is uh, Windows, and there's the project, and then package, and then the package we want is and I'm just gonna copy these my telemetry protocol exporter protocol so that's the next one open telemetry exporter protocol the next one is open telemetry exporter Prometheus dot ASP net core this one's probably gonna fail yeah, because we need on this one we need to do dash dash. Oh no, yeah, dash dash pre release because it's still in pre release. There we go. And then the next one we want to do is um, open telemetry ex extensions dot hosting. Uh, next, now we're going to install the instrumentation ones. So it's open telemetry instrumentation uh, dot ASP.NET Core. HTTP. Runtime. Final one. So the final one we're going to install is um, process, which this one also needs the pre-release. All right, and so then we're going to go to our uh, project file and um, in our project file or I'm sorry, not our project file, in our program file, we need to add open telemetry. So do that, it's just builder.services.opentelemetry or add open telemetry. And then we want uh, with metrics, add some options here. And then here, uh, and if you're, I'm just going to show you how to do this simply, um, but there's some additional information in my other video if you want to watch that. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to say um, dot set resource builder, and this is resource resource builder dot create default add service and then this just needs to be the name so this is going to be um, the name of the project all right so I'm just gonna come here F2 copy the name of the project go back and paste it in okay and then we're gonna do add meter 
and then our meter name um, which for our meter name I'm just gonna call this uh, Windows Open Telemetry Telemetry Demo right and then I'm gonna add ACN Core instrumentation I'm gonna add HP client instrumentation which I didn't add in my previous one actually I'm gonna add runtime instrumentation I'm gonna add uh, process instrumentation and then I'm going to add the OTEL exporter and for the OTEL exporter um, this is going to be endpoint equals new URI and then we're gonna say not URL URI we're going to say builder.configuration and we're just going to get this directly from the configuration and it's going to be hotel colon endpoint and we're going to then add a semicolon add a semicolon and we should be able to build this now hmm. missed a semicolon rookie mistake rookie mistake what are you doing okay so now it's going to build everything's going to look good um, we need to add our OTEL endpoint to our configuration, to our app settings. So let's jump into our app settings. Uh, make sure everything built. No errors, right? Doom, doom, doom. Yep, looks good. Okay. So let's go to our app settings. And here, we're just going to add another OTEL. And then endpoint and we're going to call this um, we're going to call this local host colon 4317 right um, so that should take care of that so now our program should be able to report to open telemetry so now what we need to do is we need to uh, install Prometheus and Grafana so you can just download Prometheus uh, and when you download it it has a Windows zip so we're just gonna grab that uh, and then we have with Grafana you can download that as well um, which we can do the self-managed and then just download Grafana. So to download Grafana, you're just going to click on Windows and then download the Grafana installer. What's going to happen, because this is an MSI, um, once the download completes, Windows is actually going to warn you, like, hey, are you sure you want to keep this file? And so you just say, yeah, I do. I know what it is. I want to keep it. Um, and so to do that, you just um, click these three dots and then you say keep. And then it'll say, are you sure? And you say, keep anyway. So in your downloads folder, you'll see Grafana. So you can go ahead and double click on this. And it will install Grafana. You just choose the default options. Now, it installs Grafana as a service on your machine. So um, it'll start it up immediately. And if you don't want it run, you've got to stop the service because it installs it and configures the service to start um, on, it configures the service to start on machine startup. So just keep that in mind, just in case, because it means it's always going to be running on your machine now. Uh, and then for Prometheus, we can just extract all, uh, and you can extract it wherever you like. I'm going to keep it in my downloads folder because I'm not actually going to keep this configuration. I'm just showing this for those of you that want to run it on Windows. Here's your Prometheus YAML file. Let's add an additional job. Give me a little space here so this is a little clear. And we can call this job the OTEL collector. And then for here, you're going to say uh, local host. And this is from our previous configuration. So these are both going to be local host. Uh, so we're going to save that. We also need to install the Open Telemetry Collector. So we have the Open Telemetry here, and then if you and scroll down, you can see the Windows 
configuration. So we can go ahead and click here and we can grab these are all contrib. We want the collector though. So after you click show all assets, you're going to need to scroll down to windows and we want to grab the uh, Motel 96 Windows AMD 64 TAR Z. So then our downloads, we can just extract. So let's go ahead and now that we've got it extracted, let's go ahead and um, copy this. After I've extracted this Hotel 96, I'm going to go ahead and um, cut the exe. I'm going to go to the location that I have my project, uh, which is in for me C source and then open. And then I created an open telemetry folder and I'm going to go ahead and paste this exe in the open telemetry folder. And I'm going to create a new, or let's go to Visual Studio and do this in Visual Studio. So in open telemetry, I'm going to create a new file and this is going to be my open telemetry configuration file. Um, so I'm going to call this um, Hotel config.yaml. So in here, I'm going to just take the collector configuration I had from the previous one uh, and modify it. So again, these Hotel collectors, they're all going to be a local host. So I'm going to copy all these and paste them. So they all say local host. Okay, and then I'm gonna save that. So now here, if I open a new terminal and I go to my open telemetry folder, I can say, um, oh, it's hotel, hotel exe, and then dash dash config equals, and then my configuration file, which is hotel dash config YAML, hit enter, and we're going to say allow. So now if I go to terminal, and, or if I go to deep, um, okay. We're going to do C sharp. And then open telemetry demo, uh, uh, let's go HPS. Brings us to swagger. Now if we were to, um, and I've just confirmed in my Visual Studio Code in my terminal, I have this Hotel Collector. This is running here. So now in my Downloads folder, I'm going to go to Prometheus and just verify my YAML. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and run the Prometheus EXE. And I have to allow it access to the network. So then I have to leave this window open because this is the window that Prometheus is running. So now if I go to um, localhost uh, 9090, which is where Prometheus is installed, you can see it's there. Um, if I look at uh, status and targets, you can see that my localhost uh, open telemetry is up and running and it's collecting data. So then if I go to localhost 3000, It'll take you to Grafana, admin, and then the password is admin by default. You gotta set a new one. Um, and then, so this, again, this is pretty simple. You go to data sources, you add a data source, you're gonna add Prometheus. Um, this is gonna be um, localhost 9090. Uh, and then we should be able to scroll down and say save and test, and it's good. And so then um, we could add a dashboard. So, so if we go to this .NET team, uh, we can get the details, we can grab this, copy the ID to the clipboard, we go back to our Grafana, 
and we add a new dashboard, dashboard, import a dashboard, give it the ID load, select, uh, select our Prometheus data source, and hit import. And there we go. And so that's how you can get it running on Windows. Keep in mind Grafana is a service and it's loaded as a service. Um, so it's always going to be running on your machine, even if you're not developing, unless you stop the service and change the status of the service. Uh, Prometheus, you've got to launch every single time. And the Hotel Collector, you've got to launch every single time. So you can see why uh, putting everything in a Docker Compose file where you set up dependencies and you launch everything all at once is a little more ideal than this configuration. But, like I said, if you're the person that asked for this video, I hope you found it helpful. And if you're not and you just happen to stop by and watch it, thanks for being my second view to this video. I really appreciate it. Are you still watching? It's it, This is really going to get boring. I'm just brushing my beard. After I get stressed out trying to make a video, I like to calm myself down by brushing my beard. <laughs>